Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I know I look pretty weird right now. I don't have any eye makeup on. Like, Laura, what is going on? Um, I have a first impressions video for you all. It's going to be on an eyeshadow palette. I really want to do more first impressions on more things than just foundation. So I'm going to give this a go today. I picked up this eyeshadow palette from Priceline. It's from the brand Models Prefer, so it is a Priceline brand. I believe it's owned by Priceline, I think, or something like that. Priceline is like a drugstore here in Australia. It just sells like makeup, skincare, medication, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I picked up this palette. It was like $13, which I think is a very, very good deal considering you get all those colors on the back. Um, I haven't actually opened this palette before, but I looked at the back and I was like, ooh, that red. Yep, totally up my alley. So I'm just gonna rip it open. Oh yeah, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the the palette just like literally slid out of the sleeve, but whatever. That could have ended very, very badly. Um, this palette is called the Models Prefer Nude 10 Shades Eyeshadow Palette with Mirror and Applicator. What is with Models Prefer and having to state that they have a mirror in their thing? <laughs> I love it, whatever. It's really, really sleek, the packaging, but you don't keep this, this goes away. So on the back it says, what's inside? 10 nude shades, applicator, and mirror. It's time to get your nude on with this collection of luxuriously silk, silky eyeshadows in a variety of matte and shiny nude shades. Shiny? What? <laughs> oh my goodness, do they mean shimmery? I don't know, okay. Wear alone for a soft, natural look or mix with other shades to create a super sophisticated and smoky eye in a warm nude tones. In warm nude tones. Oh my god, I can't read. So it's got like, it's got directions on the ultimate smoky eye. I'm not going to follow that. I'm just going to do me. Um, but it is a cute little demo if you have no idea to put on eyeshadow. But anyway, this is the palette here. Super, super sleek. Kind of reminds me of how Bobbi Brown sets out their palettes sometimes. Like, you know, they're limited edition palettes. So it's just called the Models with Her Nude Eyeshadow Palette. At least it says that on the front. It's very, very sleek and very small and compact. So that'll be great for travel if it's good. Uh, does it tell you how many grams you get in this? So there's 14 grams in this palette. So there's 10 shades, or at least they say there's 10 shades. That means there's 1.4 grams in each shade, supposedly. So opening up the palette, it looks like this. Oop. Okay, there is a sponge tip applicator. I really don't like these, but I'll probably keep it in there in case I am traveling and I just want to kind of like touch up or something like that. I don't know. How gorgeous is this palette? Like, oh my God, stop. Like, I love every single one of these colors. I love them so much. So far, I think there's one, two, three, four. I think there's four matte or satin colors, which is actually pretty good, especially for a drugstore eyeshadow palette. And they actually have names. What? They've actually got names. So this very, very end shade is on my thumb and then every other color is in order. So I'm quite happy with the pigmentation of those. Like they're not, they're not creamy, but they're not dry either. They're just kind of like a good standard drugstore quality. Um, I'll swatch a few. Oh, yes, that color is bomb. I love that shade so much. Oh, that shade is the second one. This one. Oh, my God, I'm definitely using that today. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, my God, stop. That is such a pretty, like, white gold shade. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Even the highlight shade's good. What? Okay, that shade's a bit lacking. So, so far I'm impressed with the four out of the five shades I've swatched. The one that I'm least impressed with is the darker shade in the palette, which is this one here. But every other shade so far, that's bomb. Oh my god. So I'm just going to swatch the top row now, or the bottom row, however you want to say it. And we'll just swatch this way, I guess. This row, I've got a few more shades lacking in pigmentation. The matte shades are definitely less pigmented than the shimmer shades. Um, yeah. So far, I do definitely like the top row a bit better. Um, the shades that I felt like were a bit hit or miss were this one, this one, and this one. Bear in mind, this one is very, very similar to my skin tone in color, so that might be a factor. But this shade and this shade are so, so pigmented. This actually reminds me a little bit of Stila Q. 
kitten eyeshadow. It reminds me of, I don't know if it's a dupe, it just reminds me of it. Because it's super, super intense. It's that one there. If you can see that. I'm terrible at swatches, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, let's put these on the eyes, so I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, so I'm going to start off with this shade. It's just a matte transition color, or at least I hope it is a matte transition color. Um, and I'm just going to take that on just a fluffy brush. Sorry, I can't zoom any more in than this, but anyway. Oh yeah, and did I tell you there's a full-size mirror? Like, full-sized. So I love that. So if you're doing your makeup on the go, or if you're taking this palette on holiday, it would be a really, really nice, just knowing that you have a mirror kind of thing. Also, I just want to mention, I did use an eyeshadow primer. I used the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I've used this every single day I've used eyeshadow since 2013, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to stop now. <laughs> um, so I just have a little bit of that shade on my brush. I'm just going to run that through my crease. It's definitely a little bit powdery, um, and you do need to pack it on a little bit just to get some color onto your lid. But it is a really, really gorgeous shade. Like once you've actually, like normally I'll just like dip my brush into a matte shadow. This one you have to sweep it in a little bit more than normal, but you do get a really, really beautiful color. I really, really like that color. If you have blue eyes, I think that would just look gorgeous. I'm just going to go in with a smaller brush I'm going to use this matte shade as well just to kind of deepen up the crease a little bit. These shades blend really, really beautifully as well. Like they just blend so well with each other. I'm just going to take this shade here. This shade is my favorite shade in the palette. I think it's gorgeous. Like absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just going to pack that probably on the kind of like middle part of my eye. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. It's really, it's a lot darker than what I thought, but it's so dark in the pan. Why do I think it'll be any lighter? Oh, that shade is so gorgeous. I love that shade. That shade is beautiful. Although I own so many eyeshadows, I literally own no color like that one. Wow. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to take the gold shade and I'm going to put that on the rest of my eye. I love this palette. Like... For a drugstore palette, it's pretty good. Like, it's definitely not anything like Too Faced or something like that, or like MAC or whatnot, but it is still a very, very good palette, especially for the price. I'm just gonna take a smudgy brush, and I'm just gonna take the this shade, and I'm just gonna run it along my lower lash line. Now I'm just gonna go in with this shade. I'm just gonna run that along the outer corner, just using the same brush. I don't think that you could get like a super dark look out of this palette, um, but you would be able to get like a quite nice sultry look out of this palette, I feel. I'm just going to go in with this color here, just on the brush that I was using before, just to try and darken it up a little bit. Now I'm just going to take the kind of off-white yellow shade, and I'm just going to pop that underneath my... Um, brow bone. It is a matte shade, so that's really, really nice how they've given you kind of like a matte and a shimmer highlight option. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on some mascara and I'm going to pop on some lashes off camera and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the finished look. Okay, guys, so I've just whacked on some fake eyelashes, a little bit of mascara, and a lipstick, and this is the final look. Am I impressed with this palette? I'm pretty impressed like for the price you definitely cannot go wrong like it's it was definitely under 15 bucks I think it was like $12.99 or $11.99 I can't remember the exact price but for the price seriously it is gorgeous like you can get so many looks out of this one palette you can use the shades on their own you can use it in addition to other shades I'm definitely happy that I've added it to my collection and I'm super super happy with how this look has turned out this is a type of look that I would go for um, when I'm just going out to dinner with friends or something like that and it's definitely an achievable look and you can definitely do daytime looks with it as well like I cannot wait for maybe tomorrow or something for me to do this in the crease and then this like on like the lower lash line and then this on the lid 
oh, so fresh, so gorgeous. Like, I'm just playing so many looks with this one palette. I think it's definitely worth the money. If you don't have a lot of money to spend and you do have access to this palette, definitely give it a go. I think it's worth the money. And yeah, it comes out with a good look. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say. Really, really quite enjoy this one. Can't wait to do more looks with this in the future. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and even comment down below some new ideas for first impressions or just anything that you want to see from me. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you very shortly.